I'm Dr. Neville Book and I'm one of the first few Anzac 100 fellows. I'm looking at how Queenslanders think and feel about war and peace during the years of uh, World War I. There were dominant ideas and dominant paradigms, if you like to say, you know, world views, specific arguments about why people should go to war. And there were also very strong arguments about why people wanted to oppose the war. That's where you get that sort of strong contrast. I've always been interested in what people believe, you know, and how they th think and how they feel about their beliefs. Uh, I suppose I, you know, from the very beginning, I sort of start, it started with myself, as, as you do, and I asked the question of why do I believe the things that I do? And, and I realised that, you know, there's a whole history uh, to these ideas. And those ideas are transmitted from the leadership within society, from scholars, from those that are best and ablest in, in terms of transmitting ideas. So editors of newspapers, authors, even writers of fiction that are communicating ideas of peace and war. This is the way that people generally uh, within society, whether today or in the past, this is the, the, these are the things that are shaping our thinking this project that is, is really a passion for me in in sense of, um, of getting into that history of belief. It's important for me in this research project to do something that is very comprehensive. You know, for historians, we are focused on primary source material to write and research on things that haven't been published before. But, you know, one of the, things, the lessons that good historians have learnt is, you know, you start with secondary sources. You look at what your colleagues have written. You look at what others have written. It gives you a nice framework to start with. The State Library has a wonderful collection of books that you can tap into. And, and that just doesn't exist in other collections in Queensland. The outcome that I'm looking at is, is a book. And I think, I think books are still very important for history. I need to have um, those resources and financial support to be able to, to take time out to do research and to do writing.